The Bay's party station backstage at last damn show yes. with the man of the hour. What's he going goes on? by one name and his name is Luda. <laughs> what up? Luda. What's going man, on? It's good to see you, man. Yeah. It's good to be here. I remember being on this show uh, some years back, really? actually more than one time, if I'm not mistaken. So to have a legacy and to and to be, you know, <laughs> in the industry this long with this many albums and, and fans are still supporting and radio stations like this, it yeah. means the world. Trust me. Luda, with everything that you have, your hands on, your little bit here, a little bit there, where does performance? your music rank in the whole oh man it's, it's definitely top tier because it's one thing to, obviously you got to record in order to have the people do that yeah. but you know just I, I always say this man i think it's two two things that people always want to do and that's either be a rock star or a movie star mm. and uh humbly speaking yeah. i'm able to to live out both of those <laughs> dreams man to a degree so I, I would say that performing is definitely one or two. 100%. And you sing so many different songs. Yeah. And everybody knows you. I mean, I grew up listening to it. I'm still such a big fan. Thank is you. there anything, listen, let's just be honest. Is there anything you're just kind of tired of singing again and again? Oh, hell no. No, hell no. Hell no. At all? <laughs> That's say, what the true me, fans want to know. So the difference between being the movie star and, and, and being a, a rock star, a rap star, is that. This is the best job in the world where you actually get paid for other people to sing the words to a song that you wrote. Yeah. All I got to do is show up and get, get on stage and put the microphone out to the crowd. 100 percent. There's no songs that I ever get tired of. I absolutely love doing this. And and like I said, a lot of artists don't even make it to album one or two, let yeah. alone, you know, where I'm at. So, again, just humbly speaking, I want to thank everybody for supporting. Uh, me what's your long. favorite one to perform in your catalog? If you had to pick, I know it's like uh, picking your favorite kid. Yeah. There's a couple. Uh, but move for in turn. Move. Move. Yeah, get out the way. I with knew definitely. you were gonna say that. I love that. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, That's yeah, perfect. yeah. Just because of the crowd reaction till this day. You know, they still play it in the clubs, and it just gets that energy going. Yeah, big time. You know, it's it's kind of interesting, though, because uh, out of, I mean, we love everybody on our lineup, but, man, we've been wondering how you're doing, traveling, movies. It, you know, what are you doing on your off time when you have Is a little a, time to really yourself? Have, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't have off time, man, but. Um, and the off time is really just about being a father and, and just being a family man. So I literally flew here. I'm, I'm out after the after party. I'm right back to my kids. Yeah. And that's what's most important. Being a daddy is number one to you. Absolutely. Has there it you changed? Go. Has it changed you as a person? I just I just had a baby about a year ago and it's uh -oh. just changed my perspective on on everything. Yeah. It just makes every moment so much sweeter. Even Halloween for the first time. Right. You just did you dress up with your. I did. did I, okay. Yeah. I was stormtrooper. Oh, go, yeah. go on my Instagram uh, at Ludacris. <laughs> But no, it definitely changes you. There's no way having a child cannot change you. Yeah. Period. In Everything the best way. you just said in the best way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You have a new show coming out on YouTube, which, which is oh, yeah. very interesting. So two questions about that. It's a show about who can do the best cover. Right. If you had to compete, what song, what artist would you be doing a cover of? Ooh. Um, right now, that's a good question. Let me see. Uh I probably I love Outkast so much. I probably pick one of Outkast songs like awesome. "So Fresh and So Clean" yeah. or something like that. And how does it feel to <laughs> to be going on a new platform? Because it's not the traditional, you know, network TV. It's not even Netflix. You're doing something yeah. on YouTube. Do you feel like you're tr setting a trend right here? Do you already see people trying to copy and ride on your coattails like they do <laughs> a lot of your moves? You know, they they do. But I'd be I'd be lying if I said that sometimes other people don't inspire me, and I kind of try and follow the same format. So. It's, it's one of those things where in entertainment, there's so much going on right now. People's uh, attention spans are so short that it's, it's so great that we can take advantage of everything going on. So, yeah. you know, being, like I said, being in movies, being in music, <laughs> being a host, you know, being an executive producer, this thing on YouTube you're talking about, always staying up with the latest trends and just trying to stay a part of the culture. And that's just giving people an opportunity not only to meet their favorite stars, but to give them a chance to d further develop their career and talents as well. So myself and Ryan C. Crest wanted to give people that opportunity and it's going to be on YouTube soon. Which you can, I can't wait to see that. Are there any interesting collabs we can see coming up? Because let's say, have you ever wanted to do a collab with somebody nobody would ever imagine? Maybe like, uh, I'm like a Billy Joel or something like that. Yeah, that's a good question, man. You know what? People would imagine this, but I haven't done one with Eminem yet. I would oh. love to do oh, something with Eminem. So we got to make that happen soon. Now, yeah. you're one of the only throwback artists that also is a current artist. You keep putting out new music. So Thank you. Do you Vices have... Vices is out now. Yeah, I yeah right? <laughs> the plug, plug, plug. Yeah, check now, out Vices. Do you have more fun, you know, doing like the throwback songs with the throwback fans or making new fans with your current music? I love the, the culmination of both. So, you know, not to be political, but it's great to have... You know, Lil Wayne is a good example because when he was with the Hot Boys and he had, the, you know, the Lil Wayne songs from back in the days and then just have upstarting a whole new career being a solo artist is kind of like 
I think that's dope when you can do songs that span over the course of 10 to 15 years. Right. So then you have fans from way back and then you have new fans and that's the best thing ever. And what do you do to stay current? Because things change a lot in yeah. music and culture. So what do you use and what do you do to try to stay current? It's everything we've been talking about. You know, the movies, you know, whether it's Fast and Furious, whether it's the YouTube thing, whether it's putting out new music, whether it's just keeping my face out there. And again, I'm just doing things that I want to be involved in as opposed to picking things that I have to or just because I have to get a check. That's how I you love start all off. aspects of it. And I started off in radio, so doing things yeah. like the YouTube or, you know, even the fear factor. It's just like I'm I'm blessed, so blessed to be able to do so let's just say satisfy all of my curiosities in the entertainment world. So thank everybody. For it's support. Wild ninety four one the base party station backstage at last damn show with Luda. Luda, yeah. what's the last frivolous purchase that you made? Something that you know you ain't had no business buying, oh, but you just please needed it. Indulge. Let us know. <laughs> you know what? If there's anybody that I just splurge on is my wife nowadays. So I don't really buy much much of anything for my damn. Okay, what you anymore. buy for your wife? Let, uh, let's let's hear I about it. Let us live vicariously like, through your wife. <laughs> what did you buy for her? Oh, I mean personally that's like up there in the 15 to 20 thousand dollar range oh. stupid stuff right? <laughs> oh man yeah yeah but i mean the most the, the the latest thing i just bought was my daughter just turned 16 look i'm showing how old i am oh. so i just bought her a range rover so you oh, know blessed gosh. to be able to do stuff like that car, you wouldn't want her to have like a little bit of a beater or like a stick shift no nah, because i want her to be safe as hell okay. and i feel like a range rover <laughs> is gonna keep her safe it's gonna keep her above ground so if she's going over you know uh she can pile over things yeah. and still be safe I, I, I put a lot of thought into that and Luda ain't parking no beater in the garage <laughs> like let's be real <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Yo, last question, man. What do you do to prepare before you hit the stage? Before all the thousands of people going to be screaming your name? Do you go in a dark place? Do you wild out? Uh, do jumping jacks? Uh, take shots. That's, that's definitely <laughs> yes. with, with the whole crew and everybody. But, man, to, to be honest with you, just, just thank God, honestly. We all pray together. We say that we know a lot of people out there want to live out their dreams, and we never lose fact of the reality that I'm out here living out my dreams each and every night that we're able to go out and perform and just continue to do whatever the hell we want to do because as an artist you know there's no drug test out here there's no you know there's no stipulations in what we can or can't do yeah not that i do drugs or anything no but why would we ever do that I, we just have complete freedom yeah it's the best job in the world freedom. hey luda plug, yeah. way of saying <laughs> plug what's coming up man what, what are some yeah. dates what's getting released when what are yeah. we looking out uh, for hopefully we'll be looking at another fast and furious movie soon we'll That's see awesome. Um, Vice, I just put out a record called Vices. Uh, you, it's a single. You can definitely check that out on, on all the streaming services and Apple and iTunes and Spotify and everything. Um, like you just talked about, best cover ever, Fear Factor Season 2. Man. Um, I, I, that. I, a you lot of big things job. in the works, but those are just the ones at the forefront Would right you ever now. do any one of those uh, suggestions, games, eat bugs? Yeah. I mean, would you really ever do So that? I would do all of the things that... that don't include eating nasty <laughs> and drinking nasty <laughs> things. All the other stunts and stuff, hell yeah, I would do that. Okay, all right. Absolutely. Well, it's so last yeah. damn show, Wild 941, backstage with Ludacris. Thank you for your time. Thank Go take those man. shots because my man about to hit the stage <laughs> in a few. Appreciate your the vices. love. Thanks. Oh, 100%. <laughs>